Hey everybody, it's Bill Camarada and you're watching Bill's Box of Sound. Now, do you know who this woman is here? Her name's Marie Kondo. She uh, is the star of a show on Netflix called Tidying Up. And each show has her going to people's houses and, um, you know, they, they've got a cluttered house. They've got clothes everywhere, they've got books everywhere, their kitchen is a disorganized shambles, and they have a goal that uh, involves tidying up their home to tidy up their life and make them happier. And one of Marie Kondo's things is that for you to keep something, it's got to spark joy in you, okay? And I've watched the entire uh, first season of this show, which uh, it's good. I mean, my wife and I watched an episode of it, and then we immediately went and uh, got rid of a whole bunch of office supplies that we'll never use and never need. And it felt good after that. And I'm going to do the same thing with uh, all my socks that I stopped wearing and T-shirts that I don't wear anymore and T-shirts that just don't make me happy. But... They never addressed record collections. Now, they addressed books many times on this show. Let me just grab a couple books here. I got a book here called The House That Train Built by Ashley Kahn. I've read this book, haven't read it uh, in a couple of years, but I'm probably going to be reading it again in the next year. This is like a combination of a good story, a, a, a true story, and a reference book about Impulse Records. I love this book. This book's sparks joy for, for me. I'm going to keep it. Uh, we got this book about uh, accents. It's about voice acting and different accents that you can use, but uh, I never really read it. I wanted it once I got it. I wasn't that thrilled by it. So this sadly does not spark joy for me. I'm going to thank this book for being there, and this will be going to a library donation. This book here, look at Installing Hi-Fi Systems. This book came out in 1960 and uh, retailed for $3.20. Now, this has a lot of uh, interesting stuff in here that has to do with uh, hi-fi systems, audio systems. And you can probably take a lot of this information and apply it to normal t t audio systems in the year 2019. This would be great to read, but alas, I'm probably not going to read this book. I mean, I'm in the middle of reading this book right now, the uh, Beastie Boys uh, bio autobiography book by uh, Mike D. and Ad-Rock. Uh, this book's great so far, but this is not about books. It's about your record collection. There was an episode of Tidying Up that had a couple that had a large DVD library, and they had a couple of shots of that, but they never dealt with it, because DVD collections are a lot like record collections to some people. But like, I'll pull out a record and I'll say, does this spark joy? Oh yeah, it sparks joy. I love Primus. This is a rockin' record of, of cover versions of uh, different songs. What else? Grateful Dead playing in the band? Yeah, this this sparks joy to me. I got this on Black Friday. There's a story with this. It makes me happy when I hold it. It makes me happy when I listen to it. What other records do I have? The Happy Horns of Clark Terry. Come on, the title makes you happy. It sparks joy. This is a really good record. And it's on the Impulse label. So it ties right in with that book. You know, Wayne Shorter, etc. This is a good record. This is a re-release uh, on the new Tone Poet series from Blue Note. It uh, was briefly released uh, back in, I believe, 1980, but uh, has been out of print for decades. And this is good. It sounds wonderful. It plays wonderful. It's got a wonderful... Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that beautiful crack when I opened it up? Yeah, this is a good album. This sparks joy. Okay, now let's take a look at this Matthew Sweet album, Inside, on Columbia. This does not spark joy for me. I'm probably going to sell this or give it away. And, um, yeah, okay, so there's some records that I am never going to listen to again. 
my record collection is a living, breathing thing. And it's always expanding. And this whole thing brings joy to me. So there may be records that I may want to part with at some time, but the majority of these, even if there's records that I haven't listened to in 10, 20 years, I'll pull it out and it'll bring me back to when I got the record. I'll enjoy the music. I'll discover new things that I had never heard before. So, Marie, you're pretty awesome. She's, she, you just want to scoop her up. She's so cute and just give her a hug. But uh, you can tidy up the rest of my house. But leave my record collection alone. It sparks joy for me. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And uh, thank you for subscribing. And uh, go spark some joy of your own. <laughs> Catch you later.